And now weather with Randy Erickson on KPBI News 6, your news source for East Idaho. Good morning, everyone. As we start out the day, we are going to experience our temperatures in the lower 40s today. We're expecting a pretty mild day when it comes to temperatures, temperatures in the 60s for a lot of us. But we do have a lot of cloud cover, and that's because we are starting to see some changes with the jet stream and some lower pressure moving into the area. So do expect a cloudy day today, a slight possibility of moisture, and then some clearing for the end of the day. So uh, we also have some very windy conditions, not only today, but also so tomorrow as well. Moving on to our satellite map, an up close view. This is like taking a picture from space of the actual clouds. And you can see we have some a lot of clouds that have been passing through since midnight. So uh, cloud cover started coming through late last night. It's continued on since midnight with more cloud cover. And it is moving pretty quickly as well. Here is our radar map. This is all of the moisture that's happening currently. Just north of Rexburg, all of the rain. We have uh, rain showers in St. Anthony currently. We're seeing more snow showers that enters right along uh, the border of Idaho and Montana and will continue on into Island Park. So expect the start will be rain and snow, and then we'll see more snow showers move into the city in the next couple of minutes. We also have rain showers currently in Driggs, a few isolated showers in the Caribou Highlands, and then more showers right over I-86, uh, continuing on into the Raft River area with some stronger wind gusts. So be careful if you're doing any traveling, especially over into Burley as well. 66 and 65 are the expected highs today. 42 and 45 the overnight lows last night. So overnight lows not too bad, just dropping in the mid-40 range. Average temperatures for this state, 64 and 63, and we're actually going to be above average despite the change in, um, in the skies and with the cloud cover and everything's actually going to keep our moisture or keep our temperatures pretty warm today. Precip totals since midnight, we have been dry. We saw a little bit of moisture in Idaho Falls uh, yesterday, about a trace of moisture is all, and then the sunrise, 621 and 617 to today. Satellite radar map of the nation in past 24 hours. We have all of these rain showers moving in with the lower pressure today, right along the coastline, northern California and through Oregon and also Washington state. Scattered showers will continue on in the southwest portion of the state and then also into the panhandle once again. We have cloud cover mainly in Wyoming, Montana and Utah, and then also cloud cover continuing down. The entire state of Texas is nice and clear. They're usually dealing with rain showers, but today they're clear. We have in Nebraska and then moving into Iowa and parts uh, right over the Great Lakes, some more convection and thunderstorm activity, and then also some of the southern states right along the, uh, of the Gulf Coast, but right now mainly in Alabama are they seeing a majority of the rain. Partly sunny skies, again windy, 66 in Pocatello, 65 in Blackfoot, about 65 for your high in Idaho Falls, again partly sunny, so a lot of cloud cover, 62 in Rexburg and in St. Anthony. We have scattered rain and storms for today in the mountains and highlands, and for some, like you saw on Island Park, a chance of snow, 60 degrees, 57 with rain showers currently in Driggs, a high temperature in Jackson today of 53. Now for tonight, a 30% chance of showers at 41 in Pocatello, 38 in Blackfoot, 37 in Idaho Falls, 38 in Rexburg, and tonight in the mountains and highlands, a 50% chance of showers with uh, your temperatures dropping down to about 32 in Island Park, 34 in Driggs, 36 in Arco. For tomorrow, partly sunny skies, a chance of more rain and storms. The temperatures still won't be too bad. It's 66 in Blackfoot, 67 in Pocatello, about 66 in Idaho Falls, 65 in Rexburg, a possibility of some thunderstorms in the afternoon, and that's the same pattern for the mountains and highlands with temperatures in the 50s and 60s. And then we're seeing the same type of thing also for our six-day forecast, where those showers will move right on into Saturday and then we'll start to see some partly cloudy skies for Sunday with the temperature pretty mild in the upper 50s. Idaho Falls today 65, tomorrow 66 and a drop in temperature for the start of the week.